Jeremiah, there's a video of this in Google Classroom, and the extras are by the door. But I think doing this with us, it'll start to make some sense. Okay, when I look at this first set of equations, and every single one of these, go ahead and look, there's six problems here. They all have, oh, I'm sorry, not six. There's six inside and two on the outside. They all have two equations. Why? Because we're talking about types of lines where we're looking at two together. We have parallel, which what matches on parallel lines? Slope. Everybody. Slope. The slope matches, doesn't it? What's true about perpendicular lines? They form a 90 degree angle, but from the equation, we should be looking at where the slope is and what should we see? Opposite reciprocals. And then we might end up with some that are neither. They, they don't have a slope that's the same. They don't have opposite reciprocals. They just have random slopes that happen to cross each other. So we're gonna look today and do some practice on this. Um, I don't wanna start with number one because I think it looks pretty obvious. They're in y equals mx plus b form, aren't they? Yeah. What's the slope on those? Three. On both of them, it's three. What kind of lines are those going to end up being? Yeah. Will I expect to see you graphing those to prove it? Yeah. yeah, but I don't think that's a good example for us to start with because we can just look at that and with the work we've done, you guys know those are going to end up being parallel, right? Mm -hmm. What's different about them is there? Okay, uh, well, let's look at the next one then. To graph these, it's best if they're in which form? Standard. Slope intercept form is the best way to graph them because you get your slope and you get your y intercept. I see this as 4 being with the y. There's my x term and there's my plus b. Is the y by itself? No. On the second equation, it looks like I need to do some work. On the first equation, it's ready to go, isn't it? So let's go ahead and graph the first equation. We're starting with what? One. We're starting with our plus one. And we're going to use our slope, which is negative four over. So I'm going to drop down four. And I'm going to run to the right. If I have a negative slope, what kind of line should I end up with? A negative line. Now this is interesting here because my second line I'm going to divide by what? I'm going to divide by 4. If I'm adding or subtracting with equations, I can only do like terms. But if I'm dividing or multiplying, every single term gets involved in this. So I'm going to divide everything by 4. And I'm going to rewrite that equation as y equals what's going to go in front of my x here? 1 over 4. plus 3 over 4. We don't like graphing with 3 over 4, but it's not that bad. What's 3 over 4? It's going to be really close to the 1, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then my slope is going to be up 1, and I can't go all the way up to 2 because I'm going up 1, and that's 3 fourths. This is going to be like 1 and 3 fourths. And I'm going across 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to graph my line. What does it look like I ended up with? I think I have perpendicular. How can I tell for sure? The slope of my first equation is negative 4. And the slope of my second equation is 1 over 4. If I multiply those two, do I get negative 1? Yes. 
negative 4 times positive 1 would be negative 4. 1 times 4 would be 4. Negative 4 over negative 4 is negative, negative 1. The other thing I can look at, are they opposite reciprocals? Like, even without multiplying them, can I just think about it? If this is positive 1 over 4, is that the negative re or the, the opposite reciprocal of negative 4? Yes. The opposite is I've got a negative and a positive. positive. The reciprocal is 4 and 1 over 4. So this one is perpendicular. It's hard to tell just by looking at the graph. Some of you at first looking at my lines were like, eh, maybe that's a neither. They look really close to perpendicular. And honestly, if my ruler was off by a smidge, we may not have exactly 90 degree angles, right? Because we're humans and we make mistakes. If you graphed these on your graphing calculator, it would be clear, they're perpendicular. So there are seven more problems on this. And I'm going to expect you guys to work on that during our work time today and tomorrow and potentially at home. What questions?